hello guys okay in this video we will learn uh, how to install Nguyen plugins how to set up global variables so that you can use it in your Jenkins and see a simple demo of how to use that in a parameterized Jenkins builds so the third part will be how to create a Jenkins parameterized build okay uh, maybe I'll extend this video uh, I will create a separate video for uh, parameterized build but let's see okay first things uh let's set up a plugin go to your jenkins and then to the section manage jenkins and here you will see this manage plugins go here for removing adding or deleting the plugins for if you haven't installed the plugins go to this availables and source for the plugins you want to install and install it right here is the options install without restart and you can like for now, I have already installed the plugins called global variable string parameter. This one, right? This is the parameter that helps us set up a global variables, a variables where we can store the values, right? Uh, in this, uh, we will see a simple demo where we will see set the IP address of the servers. The real use case is like you can set the variables for dev server and set the IP associated associated IP of that server, right? So for here, we'll just uh, create a simple assign a simple value. Uh, let's see how to do that now. Go to the Jenkins and manage Jenkins. Um, go to the configuration setting again, right? And down below you will see this section's global properties here it is where you will set the values like here you can see how i'm setting the values right this is the name and this is the value so to assess this uh name of the dv name you need to type this dollar dv name right okay here we will be setting uh two other values right only two we'll be doing two values setting two values just go and click here okay uh where one right we'll we'll write it as where one and it will be one dot one dot one dot one no we'll, we'll we'll do this test server one we'll add another test server two and it will be two dot two right now we'll see the real use case of this i will save it now okay i've set the two variables now i can use it in my Jenkins jobs below okay let's create one jobs first test server you can uh, write it anything you want okay this is just the demo okay first we will create a parameterized build this project is parameterized means uh, there are variable uh, means the user will have the option to choose okay okay uh, there are many options like choice parameters here boolean's or string means user can type its own own values right here we will go with choice parameter and we will type select server all right and this server one this server two these are the options that will appear just like in a web web page where it shows gender male or female right you will uh, it will show the options this is the same thing here and okay let's see how, how it will be after i save this okay now if i try to build this off see you'll see this built with parameter right and you will have the options see here test server one and two right this is the thing now when user selects test server one i want to echo that variables right the real use case is like uh, instead of this we will be having dev or staging server or production server and based on the selections we'll do the uh, actions on the respective server right we will sss into that server and do the actions okay uh, like deploying okay uh, let's not get that deep okay now 
let's go down below and write a simple script right has bang bin pass now what I'm gonna do is if the user selects this is how you do you know test server this becomes a variable if user selects is equal to test server one right if you just select test server one then I want to echo echo dollar what was the name of the value mm. wait test server one right that's what I set in the global variable I guess uh, L if now L if if the user selections is not is mm, okay I'll just use else here else Mm, echo it will be of course test server 2 right let's in I hope you are understanding this logic like based on the user selections what he selects here we are echoing the variables value right if if he selects test server 1 then we will echo the test server 1 value else the test server 2 let me copy this make it even look better <clears throat> sorry for that okay now I will save this and let's run it I'm excited I'll choose server 2 belt and here is the error I love it I get a chance to fix it line number eight else let's configure again and what was the mistake if mm, let me do this if select server is equal to test server one right then let's equal this and else Really cool too. Yes, let's save it. This time I will select server one. Okay, and belt. And here we go. We have error again. And it says line number three syntax error near unexpected token. Then oh, uh, there is small. problem like I can do this then this and save and build with parameter this time I'll select server 2 and path a wrap here we is our outputs can you see this and I hope you are clear with the ideas what I exactly want to do here right uh, I'm setting the variable there and trying to assess that uh, within our setting jobs, right? Okay. Um, uh, if you have any queries on the parameter as built or anything, please uh, let me know. I'll try to you know make more videos on that. Thank you.